You might have noticed it, but don't know what it does. You might have used it already, but don't know where it is. And it's the Mac library. All the central macOS structures are stored there, so it's mostly better to leave it alone. But sometimes it might be useful to know the way around macOS library. The library folder is located on the same level as your downloads, as your documents, but it's hidden by default. You can quickly access it from the Go menu. If you click up here, you will not see it yet. But if you press the Option key, it will appear. Now you can click on it, and this is your library folder. You can actually set the library to be visible all the time, but it's quite hidden in some settings. I will show you how to do that later. But now once we have it open, let's talk about why you would even want to access your library. Well, it's because that the library contains user data and preferences. Most macOS applications use this folder to store their data. So this is the part most people are concerned about. I made a whole video about cleaning the address space on the Mac. So if it's the reason why you're looking for the library, go check out my other video. Because you can be actually cleaning some caches from there to make the application working again. You can delete some old applications you don't use anymore. You can find some old recordings or updates there, which can save you some space. But as much as it can fix things, it can also cause you some other troubles if you delete something wrong. So the general rule is, if you don't know what it is, just leave it there. In my other video, I am actually showing you the places where you can go and what you can clean up. But in this one, I want to show you how to make the library visible all the time. It's done in view options, but it's not as simple. If I click in here in the documents folder, it's not going to show me the library option. You first have to open the Go menu again. As you can see, there is still no library. So click on Home instead, and it will open directory which is above all. And here perform the right click or a control click on the empty space and select Show View Options. Here at the bottom of the Options panel you have the tick box. Show library folder, so select this one. Now the folder straight away appeared here so I can open it, and I can also open up the Go menu, it's visible here as well, without using the Option key. And it even got a shortcut as you can see. So with Shift Command L, I can open library with one click. Well, macOS is full of these small hidden hacks and options. Let me know in the comments if you knew about it, because I found this option after quite a few years of using macOS. And also if you want to find out more about your Mac, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.